ladies and gentlemen, the 46th President of the United States of America. Oh my gosh, hello America, how are we doing? They said the political pendulum was gonna switch, swing the other way in 2020, but bitch, what happened? Oh. America, I am just so glad that you're here tonight. I'm going to announce some new initiatives that I'm very, very excited about. Well, thank you all for going to the polls last November and saying yes to Linoleum for president. If you would have told me 20 years ago that I would be standing here tonight before you all, I would have told you Get your fucking soup away from me. I don't want your fucking soup, lady. There's bugs in it. That's because 20 years ago, I was in an upstate New York rehab facility called Second Chances. <laughs> Much like America these last four years, I was a fucking nightmare. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know who I was. I mean, I knew that I was one of the fiercest ruling divas of the New York City underworld, right? But I didn't know if I was gay, straight, or bi. Was I male or female or other? Was I a Christian or an atheist or a Scientologist or a Jackson? You know? <laughs> and that time down there with my drug use, it showed me things. Really, it did. So I'm very excited to announce tonight uh, my new program, The Combat Addiction, in our beautiful country, BTAC. Bad trips for America's kids. Now, starting this summer, on their 15th birthday, every teenager will be checked into an inpatient program where a team of medical professionals and a few club friends of mine from the 90s will plunge them into a medically mon monitored but terrifying K-hole. <laughs> Or get scared straight. Honey, this is scared shitless. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, now listen, to be clear, I say fucking transgress all you want. Get high, right? Okay? Fuck gender. Topple the patriarchy. Vote down Fifth Avenue in a speedo. But honey, don't die. You know? Just maintain... Maintain some degree of control over your shit, America. All right? Oh my gosh, up here. That is Credenza Fierce. She's the head of Homeland Security. Hi, honey. Look at you, girl. You are wearing everything. I am here for it. <laughs> if you would have told me, Credenza, 15 years ago, that we would be here before you all tonight, we would have said... <laughs> That's because we were in an ER in the ass end of Brooklyn having 50 cc's of adrenaline shot directly into our heart like Uma fucking Thurman in Pulp Fiction, all right? <laughs> oh my God, Credenza, remember girl, you were wearing that crystallized blood mask and that peacock hat? Damn, fucking memories, that was a good night. <laughs> okay, so moving on. <laughs> Oh, right, uh, the elephant in the room, Mexico. Let's talk about it. Um, uh, I signed an executive order just this morning to move that godforsaken wall off of the border. Now, we all know that Trump bankrupted himself building it, so it only ever got to two and a half feet tall. But God bless those entrepreneurial people down south. They turn that into a tapas servings bar. And you, you just drive there, you eat your lovely empanadas and fajitas right off of it. You don't even have to fucking step foot in Mexico, so hooray for them! But there are large portions of the wall that have really just served no purpose. So we're going to be moving these, right, to America, and we're going to build a 20-foot wall around our nation's problematic hangnail, Texas. Now, to those of you who love the Lone Star State, it's fine. Uh, my director of transportation, Crystal Abeja, is partnering with Elon Musk. Uh, they're building a rave-themed subterranean transit line, but only to Austin, because duh, what else do we need? Uh, and honey, Austin just has some elevated next-level fucking barbecue, and I'm a food queen. I'm sorry, honey. Girl, you can do whatever you want, but put the brisket in my mouth. <laughs> And speaking of putting things in my mouth, Credenza, we're going to talk about Mike Pence later. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, honey, there's a basement in the Pentagon. That's all I'm saying. All right? You know. Um, now, last 
Actually, what I want to talk about tonight is, uh, really it was a campaign promise that meant a lot for me to keep. And it's something that really, I'm so sorry, I promised myself I wouldn't say that I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> <laughs> My dream is to bring vintage house music into the lives of This America's Children via after school programs. Um, and to do that, to do that, I partnered with our Secretary of Education, RuPaul Charles. Hello, RuPaul, honey. Mother Ru, sit down, you don't have to. I mean, by the way, the Secretary of Education, that's a hard job. It's complex, it's layered, it's nuanced, and I gave her that job because RuPaul knows how to work. No? Okay, it's fine. All right. Um, anyway, honey, I'll see you for a light brunch Sunday at the White House. More like white party. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> uh, all right, honey, girls, I could just stay with you all night and kiki, but I have a DJ set at Club Ripcord and some very hot secret service men waiting to take me there, okay? Uh, just before I go, I want to say thank you again, and really, if you would have told me, if you would have told me, Ten years ago, but I would be standing before you here tonight as the president. I would have told you. <laughs> because I was at a silent Buddhist healing retreat in Malibu called Phoenix Rising. Okay, honey, um, I wish I could stay with you all night, but I can't. Remember, America, don't let anyone tell you you're not fabulous. Don't let anyone tell you you can't be you. And don't let anyone tell you you can make a gorgeous night look out of just a roll of spool and some crepe paper, okay? America, let's be all the things together!